Welcome to our exploration of fault terminations and fault length within the realm of structural geology, brought to you by the MJ School of Mining and Geology. In this presentation, we'll delve into the fascinating world of geological faults, understanding their terminations, lengths, and the implications they hold for our planet. In structural geology, fault terminations are crucial as they mark the ends of a fault where its movement gradually ceases. A fault doesn't always extend indefinitely, it may end due to geological conditions, tapering off against stronger rocks or other faults. Recognizing where a fault terminates aids in interpreting stress directions, fault growth, and potential earthquake hazards. Fault terminations can vary significantly. The tip line marks the boundary between slipped and unslipped regions. Emergent faults intersect the ground surface while active, whereas exhumed faults are exposed due to erosion. Blind faults die out in the subsurface, not intersecting the ground, and can split into multiple surfaces, forming a horsetail pattern. Emergent faults are those that intersect the ground surface while active, creating a topographic step. In contrast, exhumed faults are inactive, exposed by erosion. These faults can be active or inactive, and understanding their formation helps in mapping Earth's surface and predicting geological activity. Blind faults are hidden beneath the Earth's surface, making them difficult to detect. Despite their invisibility, they can still move and cause earthquakes posing significant risks without clear warning signs. Understanding blind faults is essential for assessing earthquake hazards and preparing for potential ground shaking. Faults can terminate against various structures, such as younger faults, intrusions, or unconformities. These terminations can influence the geological landscape, affecting how faults interact and evolve. By studying these interactions, geologists can better predict fault behavior and its impact on the Earth's surface. Cross-sectional sketches provide insight into different types of fault terminations. From ground surface terminations to interactions with other faults or zones of ductile deformation, these visualizations help us understand the complex nature of fault dynamics and their geological implications. Fault length is the total distance a fault extends from one end to the other. Longer faults often experience greater displacement and can produce larger earthquakes. Fault length is also linked to the geometry of fault zones, influencing how faults grow and interact over time, affecting the Earth's crust deformation. Fault length plays a significant role in earthquake dynamics. Movement along a fault can vary due to changes in length and depth, affecting how seismic activity propagates. Understanding these variations is crucial for predicting earthquake behavior and mitigating risks associated with fault-induced ground movement. <laughs> 